the first thing I did, I opened an Excel sheet. And uh, Feb 2022, 2020, the first lockdown of our first expense. So from that day up to today, all our expenses are there. So are you I, try to be a, I try to be a responsible husband. You were saying uh, as a newly married couple, ba, you guys got married and then the lockdown happened and then you were really forced to get to know each other. Like you said, you <laughs> forced na forced po eh. Oh, oh, eh. Walang choice eh. Oh, so, okay. uh, I'd like to ask Mateo, ano yung nabago? Pa, paano yung naging dynamics ninyo when you were suddenly you know, in lockdown together, making very important decisions together, being newly married? How was that adjustment? Um, you know, we got married Feb 20, 2020, and a week after that lockdown because of COVID happened. Uh, we stayed in a condominium for six months, coming the law lang, at yung isang aso namin si 04. And um, it, it was actually a challenge, but I loved the challenge. I loved, I loved it, I had a great time. Madaming learnings. Madaming learnings. Discoveries. Um, but you know, it was the first day sa ko, love, you know, this is the first day na adulting na kami ba? Na ito na yun. This is our life together. Let's start this off properly and, and, and uh, nicely. So the first thing I did, I opened an Excel sheet. And uh, Feb 2021, uh, Feb 21, 2020, our first lockdown, the next day, uh, two days after, 20, Feb 2022, 2020, the first lockdown of our first expense. So from that day up to today, all our expenses are there. So are you I try to be a, I try to be a responsible husband. And, and thanks to your papa, yeah, to John, yeah. talaga, very supportive and helpful sa sa amin po pagkasawa pagdating po sa handling our finances, our investing. Yeah, I was gonna ask, na paano yung uh, do you, how do you discuss it? Like, do you schedule? Uh, okay, this time we're going to talk about our finances. Or did, did you establish rules from the get-go na, oh, love, yeah, makilove talaga ako, love. <laughs> ano ba tayo? Paano yung gastos natin? Ikaw, sagot mo to, sagot mo yan. Paano yung usapan doon? Um, I think, first and foremost, what's very, very important is, uh, I always told Sarah, love, knowledge is very important. You need to know. So when people ask you, you're not like, oh, ask him or ask this, ask that. You need to know. So as much as possible, every time we have our tax filing or you know accounting sessions, I always make it a point. Sarah's present, you no, know? so she knows what we're talking about. Um, it's not uh, you know the first sitting. My intindi had pula hat, de ba? Ako din ang lang ngayon hindi ko mai intindi hat, de ba? So you know it's just very important to be exposed to this. And then afterwards, you know Sarah and I we always talk. Love, how do we do this? How do we do that? How do we budget for this? So I'm very, very proud of Sarah that after every single, actually every single day, you know, you see her growth as a woman, as an independent woman, um, that talaga, that, you know, she really knows what she wants, she knows what she wants to do, and she's very eager to learn, to learn about life and how to be an independent woman. Ang maganda na ang But I'd like to emphasize Mateo's point on that, kasi parang a lot of people get intimidated when you talk about finances, kasi it's numbers, eh, diba? And not, not all of us are very good at math. Except siguro si Chairman Camacho and of course our Chief Financial Officer from Canada, Mr. Manjit Singh, very much experts at that. But you know, this is what Sun Life is really all about. That you don't have to be scared to take that step because you have a partner taking that step with you. That's what we're all about. And this is what we're continually trying to tell Filipinos na huwag kayong matakot kasi meron gagabay sa inyo. Yeah. I think just to, to interject there, it's very, very important, especially for our kababayans, that investing, putting your money somewhere, it's sometimes very intimidating. You know? Like all the campaigns we've been doing for eight years now, um, Sun Life has given opportunities for our kababayans to invest for as well as 500 pesos, or 100 pesos if I'm not mistaken, yes. So it's very important to explain to them properly that these investments are for long-term um, appreciation. They appreciate this after 20, 30 years, now when you think it's not there, but boom, you open, Uy, it's there. Bala. So that's what we always discuss with Sarah and I love. We really have to prepare for the future. Not for today, not for tomorrow, not for next year, but for when we have kids, when they're going to high school, when they're going to college. So we try to think long term. Bala.